Hey y'all, so I'm just out and about here trying to find some spots to fly since I moved to a new city. And uh, I stumbled upon this spot here, right along the uh, bank. Uh, I'll put up what this actually is, I'm not really sure. I think it's the Makatawa River or Lake Makatawa. Not 100% certain, but I'll put up what it is, if you're interested. But uh, looks like a real good place to come uh, fish as well. Um, but there is a windmill, and I don't think I can point it out well this way. Uh, I'm just using my Osmo Action, so the little monitor uh, here is really small. But anyway, I'll put it up. I'll let you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's a windmill there. There's a place called uh, uh, Windmill Island, I believe it is. It's a park. Uh, but there's a full-size windmill there. I'm going to uh, have the Parrot Anaphy with me. So I'm going to do a flight plan. It's about 0.7 miles away, so it's not even a full mile. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a flight plan, set the Anaphy up, let it go out there. I'm going to do a point of interest, uh, probably an orbit of the windmill, and bring it on back. So this is one of the main reasons why I love Parrot drones and uh, I love the Parrot Bebop 2 and I uh, got the Parrot Anaphy, you know, to replace it and it's why I really, really like this drone. Now you can do something similar with uh, third party apps, you know, if you have a DJI drone, you can do something with third party apps, but Parrot includes it native to their app, alright? so. Uh, for those of you uh, that aren't very familiar with the Pear Anaphy, it has been out on the market for a couple of years now. So it's not one of the newer drones, but it shoots in 4K quality, 4K 30, 100 megabits per second though. The, you'll see the quality. I'll let you see for yourself and you, you know, make your own decision about, um, you know, whether you think it's good quality or not. All right, let's have some fun, y'all. Okay, so let me show you this. Uh, this is where I am right now. So this is my location here. And so yeah, this is the Makatawa River, Makatawa River. All right, and we are looking this way towards the east. We're looking towards Wind windmill island gardens that's directly ahead of us there hopefully I, I have my camera set up where you can see that okay so i'm gonna do a pin here drop pin if i can there we go so it's 0.7 miles away so i am going to get the anaphy set up i'm gonna do uh just set up a, a flight plan right now it's gonna go out, film it, and come back, all right? All right, take a look. Uh, I got the Anaphy set up and ready to go right here. Okay, so locked and loaded. And um, I'll show you the flight plan here. So here's the flight plan. You can see <laughs> it looks kind of busy, but it's really not. It's really not. Um, here, take a look. So, we're basically going to fly straight over, straight over to the windmill. And you can see that middle diamond. That's a point of interest. That is the windmill. We're going to circle around. Uh oh. I don't want to mess it up. We're going to circle around. And then we're just going to come all the way back. Oh, I'm screwing it up. Okay. All right. So that's the flight. That's the flight plan, y'all. I'm about to hit play. 
and uh, hopefully all goes well. It's a little nerve wracking because you don't have control, but at any time I can cancel the flight plan and take over control. Oh, let me show you this. It is a total of seven minutes, 45 seconds. So that's the total flight. I have 66% on the battery. That is a main concern, main concern, because I don't believe the Anafi has um, returned to home when, the fl when in flight plan mode if it starts to run out of battery. I could be mistaken. The Bebop 2 did not. Trust me when I tell you, that one didn't. The Anafi May, I haven't tested it. Not something I wanna test out, but if you're aware, if, uh, if you're aware of that, if you know for sure that the Anafi will return to home if it's low on battery while doing a flight plan, Put it in the comments and share with the rest of us. All right, let's get the Anafi in the air, y'all. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and press play here and let the Anafi do its thing. There it goes. I believe that first waypoint, it's gonna go up about 150 feet, no, 120 feet, and then it's gonna start climbing up to, looks like 252, you can see this here, 120 and off it goes all right let's go ahead and get our live view check that out <laughs> there it is now another consideration uh, when doing flight plans is to make sure you have enough altitude to clear any obstacles that's one of the more important things you want to pay attention to i think i was a little bit too conservative with mine um, but uh, I did set up the flight plan where the Anafi will descend once it gets closest, closer to the windmill. It's going to drop in altitude to about 154, I believe is what I set it to. Okay, you can see here I'm losing signal. But the Anafi will continue doing the flight plan. Alright, it's going to continue doing the flight plan even if I lose connection. Okay, so you can see this here. All right, so we can kind of track our progress here. I'm gonna keep the controller pointed in the direction, but um, I don't know how long we will have uh, a video feed. But like I said, I'm dropping the Anafi down to about 154 feet. Um, I could probably go lower uh, but I wanted to be careful. This is the first time doing it. Oh, check it out. That's beautiful Okay, we are at 154 feet looks like that is adequate altitude Okay, and it looks like it's starting uh, the point of interest flight Let's See if I can get Better reception here and hopefully we don't run into the windmill. <laughs> you know what, I think that was the perfect altitude. I think that was the perfect altitude. I mean, pay attention closely, make sure there's no other obstacles that I can't see here. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wonderful. It is breaking up quite a bit now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to cut out on us. It may, but remember, it's going to continue the flight plan even though we don't have a video feed. It's going to circle around. Wow, that's coming out really nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we're about three minutes in, three minutes, 12 seconds into the flight plan. So we're about halfway Okay, it does say it will return to home if it loses connection. Okay, it does say that. Okay, so keep the controller pointed at the Anafi so that you can keep, keep reception, keep connection, I should say. Because you want it to finish your flight plan as long as you have enough battery. But that is a good safety feature. I'm actually glad uh, it's like that because otherwise, uh-oh, we lost video feed. Hopefully it doesn't just return to home on us. Come on, baby. Finish that flight plan. 
that I was looking really good. Yep, it's going great, 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 great. Video feed is a little bit pixelated and it looks like the horizon may be a little tilted because we're flying laterally, I believe. That's what it looks like on, on my uh, phone, but we'll check it out. Looking good. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That's coming out so good. Look at that, you guys. And I ha I'm filming in the Anafis Cinema Mold. Cinema Mold. Okay, so that's uh, I did a whole video on it. DCI Cinema, uh, 4K, 24 frames per second. I'm just using the natural profile. This is in full auto, so um, didn't do, do much here. And uh, this is actually a flight plan I may do again, make some tweaks and do again. So it's on its way back. I'm flying back to the home location here, to my location. And as you can see, I'm keeping the Anafi facing the windmill. And at some point it will uh, turn uh, but yeah, this is uh, going as planned. We are five minutes, 34 seconds into the flight plan. We have about two more minutes before the Anafi returns. Check that out, you guys. All right, we're getting better reception because we're getting closer here. <laughs> that is dope. That is so dope. So yeah, man, um, so I moved out to Holland here and I have been looking for locations to fly and there are tons here. Um, we're right on Lake Makatawa. We're also right on Lake uh, Michigan there. Uh, so, wait, is that Lake Michigan? <laughs> I'll put up on the screen if it's Lake Michigan or not. I, I believe it is Lake Michigan here to the west. Uh, the Troy area, that's Lake Superior, I believe, and then Lake Erie there, um, north of Cleveland. I hope I got my geography right. But anyhow, we are, we are making our way back. As you can see, the Anafi is making a turn. Okay, we, we're facing, uh, we're getting some interference again. But uh, still keeping our connection. A little bit pixelated. Now, I've done uh, a few videos on flight planning. I show you how to set up a flight plan. Uh, I go through all those tips uh, and tricks and stuff like that. There was a problem, and I'm not, I can't remember if they fixed it or not. I do believe Parrot did fix the problem. There's something called, um, geez, what is, what is it called? It is called, Hopefully I don't screw this up by doing this. Automatic progressive course. Automatic progress, progressive course. What that does, oh, we got 28% left on the battery, but we are close. We are within 700 feet. Uh, but uh, the progressive course makes the transition from waypoint to waypoint smooth. So as you go to one waypoint to the next, if you turn or anything like that, it will be seamless. The drone won't stop. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, I noticed that it wasn't doing that when I initially got the Anafi. I reached out to Parrot. They did an update and it did seem like it did uh, improve on that. I haven't flown the Anafi in a good while though, so I'll wait until I uh, view the playback here to say definitively whether or not it has been remedied okay the anafi should be coming above us here in a second actually there it is <laughs> okay and it has completed the flight plan so I am going to go ahead and bring it on down. Check this out, you guys. I'm gonna actually do some video here. Let's do a slow pan. Now this area is kind of interesting because it's industrial. 
with right on the water here and there's parks and stuff over here beautiful parks the contrast of that is it's unusual we'll say that it's quite unusual but um yeah folks are out here fishing i saw folks in, in canoes there were some ducks over here that got scared of me when i walked over uh, <laughs> so we've got a, a little bit of a mix of nature and uh you know the concrete jungle as it were but uh, really really nice area here really quiet and there you go let's go ahead and bring the anaphy on in I'm not sure what that is maybe some kind of water reclam reclamation plant or something not sure <coughs> excuse me all right we are at 16 percent now so we should probably go ahead and land the anaphy bring the bird on home very nice <laughs> can't wait to see the playback of that flight really good drone you guys no obstacle avoidance or anything like that um, there are some things that the DJI drones have that this doesn't but there are some things that this has that they don't main thing again is the flight plan feature right I mean you've got the lossless zoom like so all right, you got the lossless zoom, so no quality loss from zooming in. You can tilt that camera up, and yes, I know that you can do that on the Mavic products now too, but check that out. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and land this bird. And uh, we'll check out that video if I haven't already put it up the, on the screen okay y'all I think I got what I was looking for so uh, packed everything up headed back to the car gonna head back to the house and see what we got thanks for hanging out with me <laughs> 